thus proven the scriptures, a man's foes can be those of his own household. Michael's grandparents said to him, you will not join that state. Michael, however, was determined and he said to his grandparents, I would like to do this, I would rather do this with you, but I would do it without you. He said to them, I have to obey God rather than man. And I'm sure some of you can remember that verse in the scriptures. The disciples, when they were faced with odds, they used the same verse. We have to obey God rather than man. I want you to pay special attention to what Michael did next. After fasting and praying for three days, Michael again asked his grandparents to attend his baptism. This time, they agreed. What a difference prayer means. Oh, yeah. And after his baptism, they hosted a special lunch in Michael's honor. How about that? Beautiful. Everyone at the school was amazed of the incredible changes that they had seen taking place in Michael. No longer was he depressed and living a life of recluse, that is to say, spending a lot of time by himself. He also started a Bible study group and many of his fellow students came wondering what had caused such a huge change in their classmate. He attended Sabbath school and church regularly and made several friends and became involved in church. So you could say he hit the ground running. He did not idle, he did not waste any time. He just got straight into the business of the Lord. Amen. He also joined the South American division, Caleb, a unique youth project that focuses on discipleship by changing youth, by challenging young people to dedicate part of their summer break to do evangelism in places where there is no Adventist presence. It was while participating in Mission Caleb that Michael met the boys dean from an Adventist boarding academy the school Instituto Adventista Agroindustrial is more commonly known as IAAI, pronounced EI, and is located in the Amazonas region in northwest Brazil. In recent years, IAAI has undergone transformation and has become well known in the community for its caring Christian students and excellent academics. Only students who are willing to abide by the school's strong Adventist values, including spiritual lifestyle, social and academic standards are accepted. As a result, enrollment at the academy has skyrocketed, growing from 100 to 400 students in just a few years. After hearing of this academy, Michael longed to study there. I can't promise you that it, that it will work out, said the dean, but I can pray for you. But God loves you and he will find a way. Michael learned about literature evangelism and went to Manaus, the largest city in the Amazonas region to sell books and earn money. He worked hard and saved as much money as he could. One day, however, after drinking some contaminated water, Michael became very ill and ended up 
in the hospital. After paying all his medical expenses, he had only 1,000 real pronounced real, the Brazilian currency. It cost 1,500 real to, to go to school there every month. Michael was discouraged, but he did not give up hope. He prayed, God, I don't know what is happening, but I know that you did not bring me here for no reason. Michael decided to talk with the school's principal, Saulo Albino, who told Michael that there were several people willing to help him financially so that he could attend IAAI. In addition, his in addition to his classes, Michael works two hours every day to help with his school bill and during the summer works as a literature evangelist. Now my dreams are complete. Now I can study in an Adventist school, Michael said. Today I can say I truly have peace. Okay. And here ends the mission story. Thank you. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, because Michael was willing, God made a way for him. Yeah. He didn't just long to do it. He studied, he prayed, he asked questions, and God blessed his efforts. He even fasted. Amen. Thank you. Thank 
दे रहे हैं Bear with me one moment. Uh, before the Dr. Hill comes to do the song, I forgot to give you the mission post. The Instituto Adventista Agro Industrial Adventist Agricultural Industrial Academy was established in 1968. The school belongs to the Amazonas Roraima Conference which is part of the Northwest Brazil Union Mission. This quarter, part of our 13th Sabbath offering will help to build a much needed church on the campus of IAAI. And that would go a long way to helping people like Michael. My brother Leroy is coming. I want to say a special happy birthday to Brother Mark. <laughs> brother Mark, can you please stand for those of you who, who don't know you?